Oh yes sir. Yeah, wind up yourself. I know me not hear a can say nothing about milk, you know. I want milk I say about you, you know. You drink half milk with a little spoon down. When the girl them see killer, them say the home broom come. How she managed to be with Bounty Killer when I in the freaky things? Jesus Christ. Hey, Jesus. She didn't see a seller with Jamaica because she's... She's trying different genres of music. Jamaicans don't buy music. Trouble did it? Yes, people are going to welcome back. I have a lot of things to discuss in other one and people. I mean, I clear up these topics fast and quick so you can hear what I go on. But before that, if you're new to the channel, just subscribe to the post notification bell so you can get notified when I drop a new video. So cut long short start. The first and the topics to have one ticket like the warlord get rushing at the worst here possible again, viewers, by Mr. G British. The man I say yo, bone tequila are some system dog because bone tequila I wind up on stage and everybody don't know say a bone tequila that the warlord, the grown Godzilla, and the pan stage are wind up. A Self. and the man also say oh kill and a forward out and reply back to milk because you don't know the other day milk do a live with world dog and the tell people them say you know feel like say bone to kill and into them things there and me hear a bag of people say yo if I shine a forward out and say them thing yeah hear that hear oh kill a go on and him not reply to milk Jaja, but people, I'm going to hear where Mr. G. Bridges has said, and you, the viewers, can tell me on the thing, so check this out. You know, this is a bounty killer trick himself. What kind of style that you are going with bounty? You move like one of the system predators, you know. I broke out and I wind up yourself like a girl. What are you going with you? I look a tour get to your head, man. Eh? See them things there all over the internet. I find them things there funny, you know. A girl alone do them type of thing. The woman alone do them type of thing there. So if you say you are grown Godzilla, pull it, pull it. And I wind up yourself like Shibada. And I go on with yourself like Shibada. Ya yeah, what? How where you gone to? I look a tour get to your head, man. Straighten up your heart, brother. Remember, you know, man, when I do apology, you know, you move like system predator. You see me? No dog no behave like that. No gorilla no behave like that. No goose no be. No gorilla no behave like that. We don't know apology, I mean I trick myself. See Bonty does trick himself in front of himself, you know. And humiliate himself in front of himself, you know. You understand what I say? I see all people all laugh all the time. Yo, you're a street predator, man. We don't know apology. You wind up yourself. I know I'm not here to say nothing about milk, you know. And when milk I say about you, you know. So you respect gone, you know. We don't know apology. You see me? You're gone as a system predator. And I wind up yourself and I do dirty wine like Mataran. Remember, you come let out Mataran business, you know. So, what kind of business that you are going with a man, Devil? I don't trick myself in front of myself, man. I conk my conk bounty killer as a system predator. We don't no apology and no sorry about that. All right, people moving on. So now what Massacre finally released the track list for his new album, Generation of Kings. I mean, I go like people, I mean, I go really some surprise if you see the features then, but I'm kind of surprised. I mean, so the features are Popcorn, Dexter Dab, Chronicle, Spice, and someone else. I don't know if Massacre got surprising fans then with this unknown feature because the artist knew him. I do. I'm Leela Ike is also on the album. I see me people. And me seeing this track list, me feel like I said this album, Generation of Kings, is going to be a better album than 438. You see me? I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me, but that is just my opinion, people. Because the checklist alone, different from the checklist of 438. You see me, people? And 438 have four collab. This album, Generation of Kings, have five so far. And it have less songs than 438. As far as I know, you see me people? So look at that. He have more feature, it's shorter, and it actually I got promote more. But anyways, big up Massacre. Me know say yo, the artist know him other people because from the interview with the artist too, and him say him, him have to become the greatest dancehall artist ever. Me start watch Massacre a different type of way. Every local thing him do me want to know where the artists are doing. And me that like to see Massacre do some vlogs like him show the mindset of how him create that track there. Even if him not do it before him drop the album December the first. When I drop the album, just drop some vlogs and show the people how you actually do it. Me not like to you know what's chain of grains massacre burn. The, the beat, how I'm actually putting the word. Me not like to see that viewers. Me don't know if nobody else would like to see it, but me personally would like to see it. See me? But anyways, people, leave your thoughts down in the comment section and tell me on the thing. Me they are wait to see when the album drop. I'm going to listen to everything. I'm going to review every song. You understand? Because that's just so we got to work on music. I love you. See me? Me know 
don't hear that a while again i read talented and jamaican you know, people and the reason why i really put this video in this review is because it's when me i go to school i know few thought when me see usually make some songs usually freestyle some songs in a school i'm looking to it and i say oh away them you there they just imagine this female this this lady can actually do that people you see me it's amazing what you say no. Producer out there, the link me forget to all. Alright, people, so now I've came on McGregor out and you don't know him a defense Shensia. And him a say, Yo, all of the people in we are bash Shensia, say Shensia, she and genre, and I'm gonna sing hip hop and RB, and this one Jamaica and dance all for the Americans. You see me, people? He man say, Yo, him disagree because Jamaicans now buy music, and in order for the music sell, you have your purchase, you have your streaming, you have your um, pre hard idea, you have your do something. You see me, man say, Yo, Jamaican does listen your song and bash it. A bag of things, he man say, people. I mean, I make one year where um, the producers say, and you, the viewers, tell me, I think if you agree with him or you disagree. Check this out. Yo, what's up? What's up? Yeah, what's up? You know, you know what I don't like, right? I don't like uh, these Jamaicans who are on the internet. They're not even a producer and they're not even a musician. And these people, they don't even buy artist record, right? Um, I disagree with um, these so-called people on the internet um, bashing Shensia um, that, you know, saying that she sell out Jamaica because she she's trying to do hip hop or R and B, trying to do different genres of music. She's selling out Jamaica. I totally disagree with all of you people who are making those kind of video to say that she needs to sell out Jamaica because she's she's trying different genres of music. Jamaicans don't buy music. Hear what? Being a man did crossover music. Being a man collaborate with Johnny Jackson, Maya, Buster Rhymes, so many artists. Bounty Killer collaborate with Gwen Stefani, no doubt. The Fugitives, you name it. Sean Paul literally collaborate with Beyonce and many of the top pop artists. Right? Shabba, Shabba, Shabba did it. The Marlies did it. There's so many reggae artists that try different genres of music and and try hip hop and R and B. And me personally, I don't see nothing wrong with any Jamaican trying different genres of music. You know, because you have to spread your wings. You know, it's a different game. Right? You know, Jamaicans don't buy music, so if an artist can tap into the hip hop market. Or the R&B market, nothing wrong with nothing is wrong with that. But I just totally disagree with these people. They're not producer. They don't buy music, but they want to bash artists or bash and such and such. Sell out Jamaica. I totally disagree with that. You know me, right? The the issues that I have with Shensia, um, I I talk about it. Like they they didn't allow her to grow and to develop her career the right way. What they did is just let Shensia get up and run. You know, she didn't creep before she walked. You understand? She was never developed properly as a as an artist, but she's very talented. And I just I just don't like the fake numbers, right? The fake views, likes, because it doesn't match with her sale, right? But she's a very talented artist. And Jamaican should just give her a break and just support her. Honestly, I totally disagree with people saying that she's selling out Jamaica because she's trying different genres of music. She, she, she's pretty, she's very talented. 
the the only thing that she actually needs is a good producer who can actually produce her properly and you know because most of the record that Shensi actually um um get featured on right those are not actually Shensi record those are just Kanye record or other artist record and you just they just place her they just place her in those record because I produce a lot of international artists and I know I know of I know of I know a feature from you just someone just give you a verse on a record right but she's very talented and I can't take that from her you know same thing same thing with spice I disagree with spice fake numbers you know and her fake likes and her fake views and stuff like that but spice is also um very talented too as well very talented I just think that Spice does sing too much song about her pussy. That's that's the that's, that's my thing. Spice sing about her pussy till it played out. Nobody want to hear that anymore. But Spice, does she get like a good writer? A good writer, a good producer, and she go back to the drawing board. She will make it record. Seriously. No doubt. Because I said to you, you know me. You know the, the issues I have with these artists. It's just the fake number of fake likes the fake views and all of that but they're talented and one of one of the next um um big 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 um problem we have been done so these artists are not um uniting together they're not collaborating together you know you know gone are the days when dancehall artists you know, regardless of the differences they have, they will still collaborate. You know, Bounty Kill and Bean Man do collaboration when they were serious going at it. They collaborate. And I don't see why these female artists and these male artists, the younger upcoming artists, them are not collaborating, you know, creating music together. Because sometimes you never know where the massive or the, the mega it is going to come from. So I think reggae artists need to start collaborating together and a lot of these uh, a lot of the male artists them who have, who have like this this ego thing about them like you know when artists call them they must say yo them want ten thousand them want twenty thousand them want five thousand cut the fucking crap out one on a sell so one on a sell for nobody pay only ten thousand or five thousand for a collaboration it at least all the next 50 years they don't make that back right so really making a song with a reggae artist is like buying a fucking um lotto right <laughs> and what are your chance of of winning you know but if producers and artists start to collab that would be dope you know i would love to hear shensia and spice collaborate and something i would love to hear um shensia spice jada kingdom collaborate on something you understand me and some of the some of the male them too. I love to hear them collaborate together because we're tired of the holy pop pussy pussy song and you know dung in a chew or something and all of them thing that you know there's there's so much other things that reggae and dance artists can sing about. You understand me? So um let's see. Let's hope 2024 <clears throat> Reggae and dancehall artist is gonna take dancehall and reggae out of the ICU because reggae and dancehall is in intensive care, right? So let's see if you are serious about you know resurrect reggae and dancehall because it is possible, but you guys have to just work together. Yeah, man. If we don't work together, trust me, dance all and reggae is going to be nice again. Yeah, man. So again, I just disagree with Jamaicans who don't buy music saying that other artists should not try different genres of music. I totally disagree with that. Artists should spread their wings and artists should just be creative. You're artists. This is what you do. You're being creative, right? So, do what you got to do. Just don't sell out reggae. Do enough for do. So, me say, all right?
Bye-bye. Come back again soon, okay?